I have a zombie spawner in the swamp and the way it is set up is very similar to the one that we are setting up in the South Meadows. So I'm going to pop over here and take a look at the water mechanics and see what I did wrong and why the other one is not working. Should be able to see what's going on here. Interesting. I think it's the same. So I don't know what's the issue. So I have, I've got that in the right spot. The cobblestone wall is one below the, uh, the soul sand. Now this only has two, this only has two signs. That's fine. But this is only too wide. So that could be the issue there. And there's a sign right above, right above the, the water. So that could be it. But either way, we'll take a screenshot just to make sure. Probably makes the most sense to put a lever on something here, right? So I'll grab a lever. So we can put a lever there and then add blocks there and there. And then now we just need a bunch of redstone and some repeaters. Three repeaters? We'll take four just in case, but I think I only need three. Because this should power I mean, we're going to remove the redstone block, so this is a little bit, it's its not really going to be powered this easy. Oops. Add a redstone. Alcor95 asked a question. My kids flipped the shout out on this. <laughs> uh, oh, that's cool. I'm glad that they flipped out at the shout out on the, on the Citadel Cafe. No, not the Citadel Cafe. Spawn Chunks. Spawn chunks, spawn chunks, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do so many podcasts, I don't remember which ones I should give shoutouts to people on. That's great. Thanks so much for the bits. I really appreciate it, man. I don't want to put those back. I want this. Okay, so the reason we want the repeaters is because we're going to replacing these blocks with uh, just regular blocks. They're not going to be redstone blocks. So we're going to have to use a repeater to get the signal out the other side. And I guess we only need... So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's perfect. So then... Yeah, I don't need any of this here. That's all just a little overzealous. So now we can just replace these. And I don't want zombies to spawn right away. So when we do this quick enough, then they shouldn't. Except for I forgot to turn on the lever. So we did get one zombie in there. But that takes care of all the wiring, right? So now we can turn this thing on and off. And by powering these blocks, they will turn the lights inside the, the system on and off. But let's go down here and see whether this works or not. So it works. It's just that he needs a friend to push him along. So how, how did I screw this up? But maybe it's because this is too low. Maybe what we need to do is just add an ice block there and see if that, that makes things different. Because that was the other difference, was that in the other image, these were only two blocks. slow but it does work 
So what happens then if it's to there? What happens then? So that's another full five, I think. I heard a zombie, but I don't think he's in here. Two, three, four, five. So scoot along here. I don't slow down. I scroll down a little bit here. And then, yeah, so it is faster. It is faster when you only have the one the one spot. Well, that's good to know. It's good to know. So one, two, three, four, five again. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I need to go back up and get the glass. I think we can maybe put some granite back here. And then put some granite there. I think the idea was all this was supposed to be granite too. Yeah, I like the way that that looks. And then we can just round out the room. And by round out the room, I mean square out the room. Right, so we can get rid of this sign here. So that should be a working spawner system. I feel like we're just gonna do that for the class. Yeah. So survey says, let's give it a go. We actually might be able to be close enough to the spawner down here to see it happening. I feel like this is still within, within the spawner activation range. So there's already a zombie here. But we only got the one? That seems low. Weird. Maybe we're out of range down here. We shouldn't be. I guess we were. So I guess we can go up and see if any of these guys have made it into the trap. Is it day or night? I don't think so. I don't know if that matter. So they're getting... Well, one, they're getting put out by the water. Hello, creeper. I heard you sneak up on me. So we need to remove the water and make this a little bit make this a little bit longer, I guess. I didn't realize that they could fight the current like that. That's really bizarre. The skeletons can't at all. That's so weird. Alright, well, we can do this. I'm going to have to sort that out some other time because uh, uh, I'm, I'm disappointed, but I don't have the time to fix it right now. And I, I'm going to have to do some some playing around uh, that I, I can't do right now. But um, but I think we did a pretty good job. We got the entire zombie spawner dug out. And it took a little bit of double checking, but we also have the collection bit. So now zombies should spawn in here. Looks like that was like three or four of them right then. So that's good. And then we, we rush down here to the bottom. We should see that if any of them get caught, then their friends get bumped. But I don't remember zombies being able to fight the current like that. Unless zombies have different AI in terms of water mechanics than skeletons. Right? Like he's going that way for no good reason. No reason at all. I mean, one thing we could do is we could put a villager down here. <laughs> and if they could see the villager through the water, 
then um, then that would be the end of that. They would go straight for him each and every time. It's not a bad idea, actually. So we could consider doing that. But other than that, I think it was a pretty good, pretty good stream. Got a lot done. So let's go see what Megan was up to. Wow. Megan is now roofless. I don't, the stream probably hasn't caught up to her yet. Hold on. <laughs> I'm such a dork. So we flew back to take a look at the progress that Megan has made on building her new house. And so far, all she's done has been ripped down her old one. But that's cool because it looks like it's going to be a, a massive change to uh, to the build that she had here before. That is unfortunately all the time that I have tonight on the server. We got a lot done on the uh, zombie spawner and had a lot of fun doing that. If you've enjoyed this, then do check out the Spawn Chunks. It's a podcast that I do about Minecraft with my buddy Pixel Riffs. And you can also follow me on Twitch. Twitter and Instagram, it's all just my name, Joel Duggan. Until then, I will see you next time.